Hello, I'm Tony Mann. I'm director of the Math Centre at the University of Greenwich in South East London and I'm lucky to be the Gresham Visiting Professor of Computing Mathematics. So in addition to my role at the University of Greenwich, um, I'm a member of the London Mathematical Society, um, of which I'm the newsletter editor. Um, I'm a member and a former president of the British Society for the History of Mathematics. I'm the secretary of the Leonardo da Vinci Society, which is a society which explores cross-cultural interdisciplinary ideas in maths, art, anything that interested Leonardo da Vinci, which is almost everything. Um, sorry, I'm sure there's more. Um, I'm also a fellow of the Institute of Mathematics and, and its Applications, and in my professional role, I'm a fellow of the Higher Education Academy. Um, I was brought up in Scotland. I was at school in Edinburgh. Um, I went to university at first at Cambridge and then at Oxford. Um, and I then went into industry for a time. I spent seven years writing mathematical software for mathematical modelling of power stations. Um, after that, I came to the University of Greenwich and I've now been here for almost 25 years. I tend to support Cambridge because I was there first, I suspect, um, but they tend to be the underdogs. So um, I tend to go for the underdogs, generally. Currently, I'm looking at the history of mathematics at Greenwich. I'm looking at the people who worked at Greenwich over the last 400 years um, because Greenwich was a major centre for English mathematics because of the observatory initially and later the Royal Naval College and now the university. And I'm exploring that kind of history. Previously, I've been particularly interested in mathematicians in Scotland, um, partly because that's where I come from. At Greenwich, I teach a wide variety of different kinds of mathematics. Um, I do a final year course about mathematics and society, the implications for mathematics or for society of how mathematics is used, the implications for society of how mathematics is used, mathematics, for example, in evidence in court, things like that. Um, I teach a first year course covering lots of different areas of mathematics, from quantum theory to mathematical logic and number theory and relativity and all sorts of things. And I teach a final year course on an area called graph theory, which is one of the most entertaining areas of mathematics, I think. It's, um, it's a real fun course, I think. I became an academic after a number of years working in industry. Um, I found that I was doing some training as part of my job there. I was teaching people how to use the software I was writing. I found I really enjoyed that and I rather liked the idea of teaching and I was lucky enough to get a job here at that time. I think the thing in which I take most pride is the achievement of our students. Um, we're very lucky at Greenwich, we have some wonderful undergraduates and I'm really proud of what they have achieved in their time here and I think that's where I take most satisfaction. Giving a lecture is quite nerve-wracking. Um, there's a difference between doing it at Gresham College and in the university. In the university, often I'm giving a course which I will give again, so things are prepared perhaps a year or two ago and I'm going back to it. Um, the audience is um, keen, quite challenging, um, but they're there to learn um, and, and you can get away perhaps with things that you might not want to do in a public lecture at Gresham College. The Gresham co College audience is very different, it's very varied, so you've got some real experts and some people who may have just come in because it was raining and they want to get out of the rain. Um, it's important to keep them entertained, it's much more condensed. Um, in a university lecture, students are going to go away and study the material afterwards, but you want people to follow as much as possible um, at Gresham College. Um, I try to throw in lots of examples so that if people don't understand one thing, there's something else coming up next that they will get back into. Um, so I think they're very different kinds of experience. Um, I enjoy them both. Um, Gresham College ones um, take a lot more work, I think, than university lectures, but partly because the audience is so varied and so acute. Um, you really can't get away with not preparing properly for Gresham College. Um, I tend to very much enjoy giving lectures. 
um, the lecture itself is is always interesting because audiences react in ways you didn't always expect. Um, there's always very good questions at Gresham College. It's slightly nerve-wracking being recorded because, of course, while you're giving a lecture, you're only thinking about the audience in the room, and it's scary looking at the video afterwards where you find that um, it doesn't where the camera is in a different position and, and you never quite know how it's going to come out. My most productive working places depend very much on the kind of work. Um, when I'm preparing a Gresham College lecture, for example, I tend to do a lot of work at home on that stage, writing it and doing the PowerPoint. But the most productive part is very often thinking about it on the bus journey to or from work, um, when I'm not actually writing anything down, but that's where it all sort of comes together in my head. And in general, I like having my bus because I find that's a good place to have ideas. Trains are too crowded and too noisy. You can sit at the back of a bus and really think. One area I would like to get into is mathematical biology. This is a rather exciting new area of mathematics. In the 19th and 20th centuries, applied mathematics largely focused on a topic called differential equations, on engineering mathematics, mathematical physics, areas like that. And mathematics made great developments in these areas. Now, mathematicians are turning to biology, which is a very different kind of mathematics. And what I'm particularly excited by is that lots of areas of abstract pure mathematics are turning out to be important. For example, the mathematical study of knots, of how knots are structured, turns out to be really important for understanding viruses, which is something nobody foresaw when the mathematics was developed 50, 60 years ago, but now is a big driver. And I would really like to know more about these developments and to introduce them to my students. I relax. Um, this may not sound very relaxing, but one of my main interests is mathematical games and puzzles. And I like puzzles. I, I particularly like puzzles. I'm not very good at solving them, but I like thinking about solutions when I'm shown them. Um, and I like magic tricks. Um, again, I like the idea that people can fool you. And working out how to fool people is, and how people fool you is rather, rather fun. You might not know this about me, but I'm a passionate supporter of Dunfermline Athletic Football Club, which is a team which, when I was a child growing up in Dunfermline, were one of the best teams in Europe. They beat many top European teams in championship matches. Um, and since then, it's been downhill all the way, and very rapidly downhill over the last few years. But every year, I hope this is the year we're going to begin to get back to our former glory.